What's up ladies and gentlemen this is your friend Galactus here with the boss guide to all bosses in hard mode for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. I will be doing commentary over these boss fights but I will not be talking too much. I will just leave you with a general strategy and some basic tips and tricks that you should keep in mind and rest I am just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. I am going to assume that you guys are much smarter and more mature than I am and maybe can do this better than I have done in these videos. Now you should know that I am using the Genji gloves and the goddamn rung for these for the builds that I am using but you don't have to use them and still if you want you can unlock Genji gloves pretty easily there is a guide up for that I will do the link in the description for you and also if you guys want to unlock the goddamn rung I have the guides for the all the brutal challenges and all the legendary challenges which I will also put a link in the description for you guys to check out and that will make things easy for you I believe for the party and materia setup, use Cloud, Yuffie and Aerith whenever you have the chance and just spam Brumal form. The Brumal form techniques works wonders and if Aerith has Genji gloves or Cloud has Genji gloves, you can just cast the spell and it will do a lot of damage and you can easily take those enemies out. And for materia, just check whatever the particular boss or particular enemy you are fighting is weak to. I will let it let you guys know in the description as well. So just use like suppose in a particular boss is weak to fire or ice, just use ice with MP absorb, ice with HP absorb, and ice with magic focus or magic efficiency or maybe swift cast, depending on how you want to use it. That way you have unlimited, uh, what you say, unlimited mana while using the casting your spells, and also you get some HP back. That is all, that is all the trick you need to learn. Uh, as for the gameplay, just put up an ATB ward on Yuffie and cast if haste on Yuffie. Then Yuffie uh, cast like Yuffie spams Brumal form. That's it. Yuffie spams Brumal form. She gets ATB for everyone and you can do anything you want then. One of the most important things you need to be on a lookout for is that most of these bosses have different phases. That is that after you deal a certain amount of damage, there is a cutscene or something that will trigger the next phase. While they are in between these phases, there will be points if you have the boss staggered or even if you don't have him staggered, there will be like a 3 or 4 second window where the boss will take no damage. So you have to really watch out for that. Like there is a stop icon or a no entry type sign that comes up on their health bar. Make sure you are not wasting your ATBs or limit breaks on them at that point. Because after that, they will go into the next phase and they will be technically much stronger or maybe hitting much harder. And if you are stuck without no ATB or if you waste your limit gauge on them before when they are not taking any damage, then you can be in a really tight spot. So it's not very well telegraphed. So you have to really, really make sure you watch out for that. Otherwise, you can be in serious trouble. So that's it guys final thing you guys should know is that this is actually the recording of my live stream that I have done I do not have a capture card right now I'm doing everything on my PS5 so there is some voiceover from the stream there which may lap over with this video and you might uh, hear some me say some stupid things or some weird things so please don't mind that and that's it also please do remember to like share and subscribe you can also support my channel on patreon become a patreon please show some extra support if you want to otherwise just show your love here that means a lot to me and as always wherever you are stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games i'm going to leave you with the rest of the boss fight now now we are in chapter 14 this entire chapter is essentially two boss fights back to back two big large boss fights the first one is against Genova Lifelinger. Don't worry about party setup for this one because your entire party is going to be involved in this fight. So make sure you equip every person you have on your team with prayer materia, healing materia and uh, rear eyes or rise mater raise materia so that they can revive your fallen teammates. And for Cloud especially and Aerith make sure they have fire and or ice link to HP absorb, MP absorb and magic focus maybe or swift cast whatever you feel like uh, because these are the two which are going to be our main damage dealers have all your best uh, accessories equipped like uh, as you can see in this fight i had the expeditionary medal equipped on barrett for genova life clinger and then he had limit siphon as well so that he can take limit breaks from the other teammates when he wanted to or when they have it charged up also while this is a very long fight this is not very tough because you get checkpoints from time to time so you can just uh, come back to those checkpoints and play from there once the fight enters the second phase all your teammates will have a fully charged limit break which you can use i would suggest using them when you are fighting the particular parts of this play of this boss like when you are fighting the left wing or the right wing or you're trying to take down the head when you are doing doing that 
try to use your limit breaks on that part because during that part since you are stuck with just two players and whatever material setup or team setup you have or however your play style is that can get a bit tricky so it's better to just use your limit breaks there because your limit breaks will essentially charge up as the fight goes on this fight has a little i say sped up limit break charging like the speed with which your limit break charges is a bit sped up during this fight so you can just use them you can even spam your limit breaks with some trickery here but you won't need to so much just keep using your strongest spells your strongest abilities against its many parts and that way you can take it down it is a long fight but this one is not a particularly tough one Let's go. Let's go. 
Don't overdo it. Seriously? Give me a break! You gotta admit, it's been awesome having you on the team, right? It hasn't been boring. <laughs> you can say that again. It's been a real trip. Let's go. No. 